hi. I posted this story on my Instagram and what you wanted to know was how I work on a boat. All the other questions that came in, do you have to go off the boat to work a little bit or can you live on the boat full time? Is it expensive to live on a boat? And and how many, how many was that? And how I manage working while sailing. I'm going to explain how it is that I got here in the hope that some of you might find this educational, inspirational, downright, demotivating, whatever. I'm putting it out there so that it's information that you can have. I guess the most logical thing to start with is what do I do? Right now, I would say that I am a tutor, a writer, and a course designer. All of the jobs that I do are fully remote and I don't have to go off the boat to work, but I have other job opportunities if I want to. My weekly hours, I spend five to 10 hours a week tutoring. I also do some course design, which is wrapped up in the writing, write the material, design the structure, the quiz, illustrations, and all the interactive components of the course. And I'm also writing the content in which you are viewing right now. So all in all, I work between 10 and 35 hours a week. I'm also a fully trained and qualified optometrist, so I can go back to New Zealand and work for a month, two months, just here and there, which is what I like. The next question is, how did I find the jobs that I have now? When I was a student, I was always bored. I would finish work really quickly, like to disrupt class by talking a lot. So one of my teachers asked me if I'd like to tutor her niece. And I almost said no, but that was the beginning of the journey in becoming a private tutor and having a solid base. So when the time came and they said I was going to move to Spain, they all said, okay, have fun. What I'm trying to say is that I didn't set out to get a remote job in the traditional way. I have tried to fortify my income by applying for remote jobs online, going through LinkedIn, even making it all the way to the interview process, but I've been completely unsuccessful. <laughs> While I'm still working as an optometrist, I chanced upon the opportunity to write letters for other optometrists. So instead of using my own clinical judgment, I would write a letter of referral for their patient to the specialist. This meant I could work from home and I developed a great relationship with the particular employer. I was looking for another opportunity. The same employer asked me if I'd be interested in designing courses for their employee development. And I said yes. And this meant I could put together all my skills. I could write and educate people in an optometry sense. I could work remotely and I could pace myself with the amount of work that I needed because sailing and working don't always go hand in hand. If we're doing a lot of sailing and it's clashing with the time the students normally have their lessons, we have to be flexible and either cancel or reschedule the lessons or we move sailing so that I can still fit everything in. I don't think this is the kind of life for everyone. You have to have good time management skills. You can't be too hard on yourself, which I'm not very good at. It can be really lonely working on your own all the time. Of course, there's other things to consider. When I left New Zealand and evaluated my working situation, maybe I wouldn't have the same opportunities for career growth. I saw the value in living in a way that was unconventional and challenging myself to make it work. I would be living in an experience that I might never get again. Or perhaps it's just fortified and already unconventional mindset. That living is about 
finding and making your own opportunities. This brings us to the final question, which is, is living on a boat expensive? And my answer to you is that it's all relative. You might find this lifestyle really cheap if you had a lot of expenses up front beforehand, and equally you might find this lifestyle unaffordable. Living on a boat can be as expensive as you want it to be, or as cheap as you can get away with. And at the end of the day, that choice is in your hands.